Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demo using UD or user defined columns in Epicore 10.2.500. My name is Karen Shanum and I'm presenting on behalf of Coda Bears Incorporated. The overall concepts are similar for many of the Epicore 10 versions. Whenever your company needs information stored in Epicore that has more specific needs for your business, using UD fields is likely the answer. Creating these UD fields makes storing the data efficient and setup of these fields is relatively easy. Let's learn about how to set up UD fields. Overall the steps to add new UD fields that you need is a pretty straightforward process. The main consideration for your planning will be that you need to schedule a time when users can be out of the system for probably 15 to 30 minutes, possibly longer if you have a large database. On the following slides, we'll go through each of these topics, planning the fields that you want to add to tables, what information you need for each field, what is the status of your new fields after you add them into the Epicor software, using the admin council to regenerate the database, verifying your new fields, adding your fields to a custom form, and then actually creating some new fields in Epicor 10.2.500. The following slides will show in more detail. And then, like I said, I will show the live process. So likely you'll want to create a spreadsheet to hold the information about each UD field that you add to Epicor over the years. Include columns for the table, the column name, description, data type, and attributes and any additional information you want to save. In order to start thinking about adding your fields, you will of course have a request or know of a need for data that is not already stored in Epicor. You may probably know which table is most relative for your new fields, or you can use Epicor's field help to see which table is the main table used on a tab where you want to add the fields. You will also want to think about the field type, character, number, boolean, for example, field size, if you want to relate the field to another table for a foreign key view, a default value, a label, and other details. Next, you'll open the UD column maintenance menu item in Epicor, following the system setup system maintenance, and then picking the UD column maintenance menu item. Search for the table if you already have UD fields on the table you're adding to, or select New Table to add a UD field for a table that does not already have UD fields. Then choose New Column to add your new UD fields. The column name you choose can be up to 128 characters. And Epicor will automatically add an underscore C after the column name. For the like sections, part one will be either ICE or ERP, depending on if it's a, a general table or a tools table for Epicor. And then the second area is going to be the actual table name. And then the third area for the like the third area for the like column will be the actual column name that you want to use as a reference for a like. And, and that will help you to have a column name that you would like to have a like relationship for a foreign key view, for example. In the description area, you can enter a description of your new UD column, which is up to a thousand characters. Choose the data type from the drop-down list. 
and you can choose string, decimal, date, boolean, etc., etc., are among the choices. Select or enter the attributes which will be enabled based on the data type chosen. If you desire, select the required and or hidden by default checkboxes. You'll see the status bar indicators that will allow the status of the table and or columns in Epicor. Statuses can include table not in database, table not in sync, table is in sync, data model not in sync, and data model is in sync, for example. After you add your field into Epicor 10, you will see a status of table not synced and you will not see your column in the SQL database behind the scenes of your Epicor data. And your column will not be available to choose in a business activity query or BAQ. So here our order new uh, order field was not shown on the PAQ for order head there. In order to sync your database, you will need to use the Epicor Admin Console. First step will be to verify or ask users to be out of the Epicor environment that you will need to regenerate. Next, you will stop the task agent in the task agent configuration for this Epicor environment only. The third step will be to stop the application pool. Next, move to the database server management in the admin console. To choose the database and select the regenerate data model for this database. Make sure to press the generate button and then wait, wait for the model to regenerate. When the data model is finished regenerating, you will then start the application pool and start the task agent again. After you regenerate the database, and sign back into Epicor 10, you will see a status of the table and data model showing that they are both in sync. You will now see your column in the SQL database behind the Epicor data, and your column will now be available to choose in a business activity query, BAQ, and the new field will also be available now as a field for Epi binding and customizations. So if you have developer permissions in Epicor, you can add a field to a custom form. Using the toolbox, choose the type of field needed on the form, select any properties as needed, and then choose the newly added field as the epi binding property to link the values entered in this field to the database field in Epicor 10. Now we can create a couple of new user-defined fields. Actually, I'm just going to create one new user-defined field. So here I've opened the user-defined field or user-defined column maintenance screen in Epicor 10.2500 and I'm going to search and see if we have any already defined fields on the part table, which we do. So if we open it up here we can see what fields have previously been defined for the part table. So I'm going to add a new column and put in a column name here. I want to um, maybe put in a retired date when this part's going to be retired and no longer available to order, for example. I'm going to put in a description And then choose the data type. In this case, I want a date. And we could put in any other information, but this is the bare minimum that you would need to do for a new user defined column. So we'll go ahead and save here. And if we go back to the table tab, we can see it shows our table is not synced. And we can go into SQL here for 10.2.500 and we have, um, let's see, our part table, sorry I missed it, part UD table currently has all those columns that we saw before was added but our new 
um, retired date is not shown here. And if we were to create a BAQ, and you'll notice in the BAQs, your user defined tables show actually in the same table that you're adding because it's really a view, I guess. And so you can see towards the bottom will be all those previously um, added user defined fields, but you do not see our newly added user defined field. So now I've opened Epicor Admin Console and we can see on our E10 train system there's nobody using the system so we can proceed with our regenerating the data model. So we'll go back to the E10 train and, and choose task agent configuration and we want to pick E10 train at the end here and right click and say stop agent. And there we go, it stopped. And now we'll go ahead and stop the application pool. And it says that it's stopped, but we'll wait until it shows that it's stopped here. Now that it's stopped, we can move up to the database server management and find our E10 train 1025. And we want to click regenerate data model. And don't forget to click the generate button. And then this is where it will take 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll pause for a minute while it continues on and then we'll um, show when it's done. And through the magic of television slash video, we now have our data model regenerated. So we'll go back to the server management area and choose our E10 train. And we'll go ahead and start the application pool. And again, wait until the it says started in this case it says it right away and um, we'll go to task agent and start the agent by right clicking on it so that might take a minute or two and so our task agent is now started again so we can close um, epicor admin console and go ahead and restart our epicor 10 to 500 Now if we go back into our UD column maintenance and bring up the part underscore UD table, you can see now that it says it's in sync and the data models in sync and we can see our new column here is retired date underscore C and in SQL if we refresh refresh our tables and our database and then look at the tables and we can find the part underscore UD table again. And now if we open the columns, we can see our retired data is there. We can also see that in the BAQ, we had our previously one, previously started one name part and we go to display the fields this time we should be able to see our uh, retired date there towards the bottom or just alphabetically towards the bottom so now it's available to choose in a BAQ also and the final step is to um, turn on developer mode and go into the part form and we'll choose just base only to develop on the original part form. And if we go to tools, customization, tools, toolbox, we can now enter a date. Probably want it to be somewhere over here since you have run out over here. 
And then if we bring back up our customization properties and click on our date time editor, you can change the name if you want to, but the most important thing here is to add the epi binding. So again, you want to choose our epi binding from the part table, and here they're listed alphabetically. So we want to choose entire date. And then we could save our customization if we wanted to, etc., etc. But the main thing is to know how to add it on your customization. So today we saw how to plan for and add user-defined fields in Epicor 10. And like any other Epicor customization, most often you should work to create these UD fields in a test environment and then move them to live after you're fully tested the functionality. Thank you for reviewing our YouTube channel and have a great rest of your day.